Welcome to Aviation Weather Systems. Of all the things that I'm going to teach you, this is probably going to be the most underappreciated. I have at least four weather apps on my phone right now, and three of them are directly related to flying a drone. Let's start here. What kind of weather conditions can your drone fly under? I have a DEERC D15. It can fly up to 25 miles per hour and it has a level four wind resistance. That means that it can fly somewhat steadily in a wind speed of 13 to 18 miles per hour. I also have a Cinemaster 2 made by EXO. It has a maximum airspeed of 27 miles per hour and a wind resistance of class five or level five, all depending on how you want to call it. It resists wind speeds of anywhere from 19 to 24 miles per hour. But keep this in mind. Yeah, it can resist wind speeds of 19 to 24 miles per hour, but it can only fly up to 27 miles per hour. That means if you fly far away and on a super windy day of 24 miles per hour, but you can only fly 27 miles per hour, that means you can only fly back at three miles per hour, which means don't go too far. Don't go too far, okay? There's a chart of wind resistances that I'm going to link to downstairs from flythatdrone.com. It's a blog. It'll give you an idea of how resistant your drone is to wind. Why do I have a nanometer in my hand right now? Wind speeds on your app only show what the wind speed is at the station that is monitoring it. The station that you're monitoring might be 10 to 30 miles away. Unless you know how to judge the wind speed with your body, and trust me, I don't, you want one of these. They're only like 20 to 25 bucks, depending on where you get them from. Maybe a little bit more than that, depending on how accurate you want them. And this will tell you the actual wind speed where you're at. There are some days where I get outside of my car and I'm like, it might be a 10 mile an hour wind. It might be 30, I'm not sure. I get this thing out so I can tell what those gusts are and get a better idea. Having said that, this is me telling you from a pilot in command to another pilot in command aviator. If you get out to go flying and you think to yourself, it feels kind of gusty, don't. You might be able to fly in that maximum wind speed, but when you go to land, your drone is going to be like just a few feet off the ground and suddenly you'll have a gust and it'll end up like kind of bouncing over and killing a prop. That's me. I don't like paying for props. You may vary. As always, pilot in command, fly safe. Oh, don't forget to subscribe. I always forget that.